morning today um, I'm packing because I'm going back to Canada so uh, I'm gonna show you the what my room looks like with all the stuff I need to bring with me to get everything back where it's supposed to be oh it's very dark in here so this is my stuff this bag over here I'm gonna show you because this is my modular packing thing um, that I've been doing that for a few years where I have one thing with all the essentials and that's this bag so I'm gonna show you what I keep in there in another video and the rest of this is just clothes and well stuff that's going into this bag here <sighs> yeah so, I think I have a little bit more laundry to do, um, and then you will get a travel vlog. I'll see you in the next clip. Hi there. Uh, we're in Zurich right now, Zurich right now. Um, and it's 10.30 at night. Um, it's been a long day. I filmed... Um, you saw the start of the video where I hadn't packed yet, so it's packed with my bag over there and over there, and that's my jacket and everything. I'm gonna show you what to pack to survive a 12-hour layover, which is what I've got here. And this thing is a microfiber face cloth that removes and um, mascara and anything you might want to remove from your face. So that's pretty good. And I recently used it, so it's still damp. Um, we have a water bottle there. It's a, one of those water bottles with a silicone cover on it, so it keeps it a little bit um, safer so it doesn't shatter now let's have a look in here this is the fun stuff as you probably know you should always keep your liquids according to the international standard of a one liter uh, receivable ziplock bag and I like this type of thing for my cords and electronics. You can see my microphone right there. Um, and this, uh, what's it called? It's called a gridded. Very useful. I love this thing. Uh, they had, when I got this, they had a larger model too, but I didn't get that one. Uh, I probably should because it's like super useful things organized and like purses and everything too. And this is a modular bag which I'm gonna do a separate video on like in a minute or so when I'm done with this one. And that's the survival kit like for real. Uh, bring a good book. It's a t it's time for a reread of this one so I borrowed Matt's copy and then Fuzzy socks in case my feet get cold on the plane. And my homemade um, face cream. It's 50% shea butter and some oils and stuff. And a little bit of honey. It's like the most moisturizing thing ever. Makeup bag. With well, basic necessities, brushes and stuff. Um, converter plug. It does not have a transformer, so you need to make sure that the cord you plug it into has that built in, so you don't fry your electronics, um, or they get the right amount of electricity. Uh, the book that I got, um, cord for my laptop that <laughs> can fit in the electronics grid. Change of clothes inflatable neck pillow uh, besides the memory foam one that I've got I 
we have my new set of headphones that helps me edit um, so that I can actually hear what what sound quality I've got quite important uh, I got a change of clothes in here I've got this thing it's so cool it's a travel sheet that is actually the size of just a regular bed like 90 centimeter wide bed and it's both the bottom and top sheet and it's it kind of has a pillowcase as well so that's so cool I'm probably gonna use it tonight actually like a sleeping bag because well, I'm gonna be here overnight for 12 hours and I'm gonna be really tired tomorrow if I don't use that I'm gonna land well this trip will be over uh, 24 hours and usually it's 12 so or around 12 and this is my sarong from Jamaica it's tie-dye and it has these beautiful vibrant colors in it like they're vibrant but still muted and I absolutely adore it and it's super cozy like it's warm but not too warm like it, it works in so many climates got a notebook, hollow no notebook, for all you holosexuals out there. It's also got rainbow white place markers, because why not? Change of clothes, pair of pants, underwear, and that's what I got in the inside of the bag. So here's an extra scarf. I already have a scarf over here. You can never have enough scarves. Obviously, with the sarong as well. And then, there's a sock that's somewhere, it's maybe somewhere inside the uh, bigger suitcase. And then, power cord for my phone. It's a one plus two, so they have these really cool power cords. Uh, USB-C type. Love those things. Um, tissue. <laughs> microphone fuzzy that the cat went crazy over did not get to keep that um, Swiss chocolate from the airplane it was really good and more tissues because you never have too many tissues so that's what I try to keep in my backpack um, when I travel just so that I have everything I need and it's still compact like this one is a blanket and it'll keep you warm it'll keep you cool it's a skirt um, it, it's everything you need um, obviously this uh, make sure everything fits in it before you go to the airport um, yeah so that's that now we're gonna replace everything in there oh I forgot about this one There's stuff in here too. Tiny jewelry case. I'm trying not to say that too loudly. It's pretty quiet here in this terminal because as you can see like nothing is going on. I think everyone has left the airport. Uh, a power bank. This is the second power bank because, or actually the first one I ever bought. And the second one is in the uh, grid thingy and it's much flatter and more compact. I actually got that with the headphones and it's got two chargers for the headphones in it so that's good um, the headphones are Bluetooth but they came with a cord as well for if you want to watch um, uh, movies on the flight and stuff and then there's my other Bluetooth headphones which are they started out with um, like six hours of battery and now they have barely like half an hour so the battery deteriorated really quickly uh, and I think that is it for what I keep in my bag yeah I could see an old man judging me <laughs> they don't understand our generation this is important stuff like people need to know to bring when they travel. Hmm. 
anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not too mad about this layover because it gives me an opportunity to film in an, a more interesting location. And, um, cool. Thanks. Bye. Right. Where were you? Uh, I got awkward when there was a man judging me. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this. And I will film another video now, I think. Yeah. And you will see that in a little bit. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to like and comment. Uh, what do you keep in your travel bag? Um, give some tips to the other viewers. Bye. Very expensive breakfast, but it looks great. Good morning. Um, I slept for maybe five hours between um, 11 and 11.30 maybe. Um, and then woke up in small intervals when like they were cleaning the floor and stuff like that. I didn't film the, the spot where I slept. Um, was by the um, uh, check-in counters <laughs> because I couldn't check in last night um, they wouldn't allow me to do that because of the 12-hour layover so I had to sleep there uh, I think <laughs> inside here past the security checkpoint they do have um, like uh, what's it called uh, spots where you can sleep like you can uh, borrow, borrow a room was it called day rooms for layovers? Uh, but <laughs> they did not have that outside of the security checkpoint. I would have, I would have needed to check into a hotel or something, but who has the money for that? <laughs> I wish I did. Um, so I woke up because an old man sat down next to me and then it was really awkward trying to sleep. Um, and I think his family was there too. Like they, they needed to do something um, and then I, I don't know which language they spoke but they spoke a lot and there was something about a passport I think um, so that was interesting uh, and then uh, at 5 a.m. was just about time to start heading here uh, past the security uh, and now we're here and the airport is absolutely gorgeous like you can see up down there and obviously since it's Switzerland they have like all these jewelry stores and a whole bunch of cool stuff um, like <laughs> very exclusive skincare that I probably wouldn't even be allowed to try because I look ragged um, yeah this is me uh, uh, on uh, on the go, looking all fresh as a daisy. Um, <laughs> that's what happens. Um, I had a coffee and some kind of bakery thing that was really nice. Uh, flaky, but not as much as a croissant, and it had vanilla cream and some kind of jam in it. Um, jam, jam, didn't do it. It was uh, very, very good. Um, good, good day to start the day. Good way to start the day. Yeah, uh, brain isn't scrambled because it's still early and I'm sitting here feeling myself actually not as self-conscious as I was yesterday so I'm improving uh, slowly but surely don't call me Shirley some of you will get that reference yeah <laughs> okay um, I will check in again when I get to Toronto I guess yeah see you then Oh, and by the way, by the way, don't uh, refill your water bottle before the security checkpoint because you're gonna seem like that idiot that has never traveled before. <laughs> My excuse is it's still early, very early. I think it is. Yeah, I don't know how early it is. It's, it's too much. Um, maybe 5:30. Yeah, I think so. 6:30? No, it can't be. How do I check this? Oh, I have a phone. Yeah, 624. So, it's not 
terribly early, but <sighs> yeah, when you sleep across like three benches uh, made of metal, it's not that cozy. Um, I can tell you that not having back problems is something I'm really happy about right now. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and see you in Toronto. Bye. Hello, guys. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, weird lighting. Yeah. We are currently in Toronto and there's noise in the background. There's lots going on. I can't see. <laughs> well, I'll be boarding in about two hours, I believe. And then I will be back in Calgary. Um, yeah, it's just a check in. Everything is okay. Um, I got a latte, it was good. Uh, sleep sleep dep deprivation, and yeah, that's just a check in. And then uh, I'll fill the end of this clip when I get to Calgary. Thanks for watching. Hi, guys. So it's the day after I got home from that whole 30 something hour flight um, I'm back in Calgary in the apartment and I just wanted to film um, <laughs> the end of the video because well it was very abrupt and the last one I was pretty rambly. Um, so I landed at 9 p.m. Um, Matt picked me up at like 9.20 something and then um, we went home and I basically took a shower, ate something and then fell asleep. Uh, so it was exhausting, I was very tired. Um, I was able to sleep in a little bit this morning and that was lovely. And now I'm filming the, the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in my backpack. Um, because basically I try to pra always pack a little bit practically um, with in, uh, keeping in mind that unexpected things can happen like there can be a cancelled flight or you need to rest somewhere or uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe you need to patch something up with a needle and thread so um, yeah thank you so much for watching uh, please like Subscribe if, if you like travel content because I will be doing more traveling and there will be more videos of my previous um, uh, previous journeys? Yeah, previous adventures maybe. Um, I have also uh, now taken pictures of my physical pictures that I have from the Bulgaria trip and um, the Eastbourne trip. Yeah, I had those actually on CD, so I will um, update, update, update. I will update those videos with those pictures, so you can get a visual of what it was like over there. Um, I keep moving side to side. I need to learn how to sit still in the videos. <laughs> okay, bye.